Hey Crusher, it's uh, Matteo from GMB Crush here. And in today's video, we will see how to analyze uh, for multiple keywords and uh, for a specific location, which uh, Google Business Profile, which GMB Profile is the one that ranks the most consistently. So the one that beats uh, the other uh, GMB profiles again and again. So that's the profile that uh, we will use uh, as a reference when we do a specific uh, GMB audit or we do an audit uh, to discover a certain type of uh, data associated to that specific profile. This video shows uh, some steps, of course, but if you want to join the GPT Crash Academy, if you want to join GMB Crash, you can find the coupon in the description. It gives you a sweet 30% off on your first month. This uh, gives you access uh, to all the GMB Crash software tools, all the software features, including the GMB audit feature, the GeoGrid analysis uh, to see map uh, rankings for uh, many keywords and more. You will also get access uh, to the GMB Crash uh, custom GPT where you can analyze all the reports uh, all the audits and all the geogrids in real time using the Crash GPT. Okay, so now back to the video. I already entered into the GMB Crash GPT my username and password. As you can see, the custom GPT asked me if I want to do different type of actions. At this point, don't, you don't need to select anything, but you can just go ahead with the prompt that I create. So here I'm saying use the GMB Crash API along with extension X capabilities uh, to process uh, the following keywords. So I provide uh, to the GMB Crash GPT five different keywords. So Pass Control Detroit, Exterminator Detroit, uh, Rodent Control Detroit, Termite Treatment Detroit, Bad Bar Removal Detroit. And I have also provided uh, the main location, which is uh, Detroit, Michigan. Analyze the results from the GMB Crush API and estimate the total number of extension X credits that will be needed. Then proceed with the following task. Identify the single Google business profile that consistently ranks highest across the given keywords for the specified location. And from the GMB Crush API response, extract a list of all available data related to that top ranking Google business profile. Okay. So as you can see, uh, the GMB Crush uh, GPT says, thanks, we will uh, proceed uh, with the analysis. The analysis, it will cost uh, five extension X credit. Uh, those credits are not the same as uh, the GMB Crush, the Crush's credits. They cost much, much less. But as you can see, they help you to find, like in this case, which, which one is uh, the top uh, GMB profile uh, that uh, consistently rank uh, across uh, multiple keywords for a given location. So in this specific case, MNH Pass Control Detroit ranks in position number one in four out of five keywords and in position number two for the latest keyword, which is Bad Bug Removal Detroit, making it, of course, the most dominant GBP across all the keywords. Okay, so as you can see here, we have uh, collected uh, a bunch of data, including uh, website, uh, primary category here. Additionally, you can also request uh, the additional uh, business categories, website, uh, address, uh, CID number, if the list is already clean, number of reviews, uh, sentiment score, average estimated uh, CTR, of um, the GMB profile, number of photos, and it ranks uh, number four in uh, four of uh, the given keywords. And as we say before, in position number two for the latest keyword, which was bad bug removal Detroit. Okay, so what I want to show you here with the, the next prompt, uh, you will be able to extract uh, all the sitemap data, and that's super useful because once you identify, as in this case, the GMB profile with the highest location authority for your given keywords and for a chosen location, you can easily start to reversing engineering which details from the website and the GMB profile Google is rewarding and why. Google sees this specific GMB profile at the website linked to this uh, GMB profile as uh, the most authoritative uh, 
business profile and website uh, that uh, should be shown to users when they type uh, um, a specific search query on, uh, on Google. So as I say, in the next prompt, uh, we are uh, going uh, to extract uh, all the sitemap uh, data from uh, the website. So this is uh, super useful because we will later compare it with another website that ranks in a different position. And of course, uh, yes, we are uh, talking about uh, websites uh, connected uh, to Google Business Profile. So the website uh, linked to the GMB profile in, posi in position number one is uh, this one. And as you can see, we already got uh, the full uh, breakdown of uh, the entire sitemap, uh, on page, uh, service pages, location pages, and uh, we can then see details about uh, the areas served, aka location pages. Why this is useful and helpful? It's uh, very helpful because once we identify the GNB profile with the highest location authority, we can compare it to another business profile that ranks lower. So for example, here, I use it, uh, the GME Crash uh, Chrome extension. You can download it for, for free. And I have used uh, the GeoSwitch uh, feature, which uh, basically allows you to explore Google Maps and Google Search from uh, another location. So I have uh, selected Detroit, Michigan as uh, my chosen targeted location. So I could do also a manual check in the local tree pack. And uh, I noticed that, uh, that uh, there was another interesting profile that uh, I wanted to compare the sitemap with the, the Google Business Profile website from uh, the profile rank in position number one. So this is the main reason why I made this video. So now imagine doing this uh, for uh, your own, for your uh, local SEO clients in a location you don't really know. You can use the GMB Crash custom GPT, insert a set of keywords and a target location and tell the clients, hey, for all of these keywords, this specific profile, this specific GMB profile ranks more consistently across multiple areas, then we can reverse for you like I did here and uh, we can check which pages are missing from uh, the lower ranking side. In the next prompt, uh, I ask Ed for uh, a comparison between uh, the sitemap of uh, the website ranking in position number one versus uh, the, the, site, uh, the website linked uh, to the GMB profile in uh, position number four, which is this one, okay? I have also asked uh, to identify which uh, specific URLs or pages the given site is missing compared to the top competitor. And I also request uh, to include uh, in the output uh, the missing URLs in plain text format. So as you can see here, there are many missing uh, service pages and the site uh, also doesn't have uh, specific uh, location pages. So this gives you a very clear idea, something to share with, uh, with your local SEO clients, with your clients to explain. Number one, which uh, Google business profile is the one that consistently ranks and outranks all the other GMB profiles for uh, the chosen keywords and the target area. In this case, we are targeting different type of keywords for um, the pest control in Detroit and the primary business location is Detroit. So you can also use all of this data to discuss with the clients the type of work that you will need to do, you or your team will need to do on the website in order to cover this, uh, all of these uh, content gaps. You can say, uh, you know, the, the, the website linked to the business profile in position number one, they are going much deeper in, uh, in the, in the past control topic. They have uh, a lot of, uh, nice uh, service pages describing all the type of services that uh, the company provides. We are also missing uh, a number of uh, location pages. So on month one, uh, we are going to do this. On month two, we are going to do that and so on. All right, so that's all for today. Thanks again for watching the video. Please remember that uh, you can get access to GMB Crush software, the GPT Crush Academy video training, 
and uh, the advanced rank training video course by using the 30% off coupon that you can find in the video description and or in the first pinned comment. Thanks again for watching and I see you in the next video. Cheers.